In Jaipur, like everywhere in India, the cinema attracts crowds of night owls, fond of the great epic adventures that India produces by the hundred each year. Nighttime is also the time for the population to go to temples and to make their daily offerings to gods. On the way out of the city, a final abandoned wonder, the Jal Mahal. This palace in the Indo-Mogul style was the summer residence of the Maharajas. Thirty miles to the north of Jaipur is the city of Samoda, hidden in the dip of a valley. The beautiful 18th century palace echoes the descriptions of the castles of Mughal India by European travelers of the period. It was built by a noble at the court of Jaipur, the minister of finance of the Maharaja Jai Singh II. The interior, like the setting for an oriental fairy tale, is made up of a succession of galleries covered with paintings. The Durbar Hall, the reception hall, is adorned with frescoes and gilding. Still today, the prince's family lives in a wing of the palace. As in Udaipur, the Samoda Palace has also been transformed by descendants of the minister into a luxury hotel. Its charm makes it a prized place for the young, rich Indians who come here for their honeymoon. Protected by a wall, the small town starts at the gateway of the palace. Life revolves around the main street. The population, much smaller today than in the past, once lived a richer life because of the passage of the caravans that connected Jaipur to the northwest of India. Samode, which has become a small country town, provides a warm welcome and the people make easy and lively contact. The women and children go slowly and calmly about their work, without startling the visitors. Houses give onto the street by way of a porch, something that's very popular in the region. Today, the interiors have lost their opulence. As you come close, you can see in the inner courtyards the different stages of the daily life of a town unfold. With a very rural tradition, Rajasthan is a region where man feels a great respect for nature and animals. There's very varied wildlife that lives in close communion with the human population.